Welcome to probably one of the most craziest videos we've ever created when it comes to sound. I don't know if you saw it, but we did an entry for the Hollyland Feel My City Sound Competition. And today we're gonna to be running you through the BTS and everything we recorded with the Hollyland Lark 150. Now this video is not sponsored by Hollyland. This is just an entry into it. And fortunately we have a Lark 150. Well, it's actually not mine. It's my wife's, Michelle. This is her Lark 150, which I've stolen to do this video. Now, if you don't know by now, Hollyland is doing a Feel My City sound campaign and they have a total prize of $50,000, which is in cash as well as gear across the different categories. So if you haven't already entered, I'll drop all the details below. Now I'm gonna take you through our BTS, which is one of the requirements to enter into the competition. Now the actual video has a voiceover, which I recorded like this sound. It's a way of understanding our surroundings. And it also has some music, so very cinematic kind of dramatic music. So I'm gonna disable both of those for this specific instance so you can hear the full true audio of the sound effects and kind of give you that feeling. Now before I hit play over here, I wanted to kind of just tell you what the thought process was behind this because we planned this video about three times and then eventually Michelle and I conjured up this plan to kind of give you a run through the city how life is as a creator and how we see and feel the sounds of our city. So check this out. Honestly, there's so much going on in that short piece, you have no idea. Firstly, this sound was recorded in my parents' backyard to get that birds because they've got a ton of birds over there and it's just there's a lot of trees and this is that sound that you get to kind of set the drone but it's not the only piece that was there there's also a bit of a wind sound which you can hear in the background and this is how we did that when the drones up in the sky i'm looking for that kind of audio sounds like there's a bit of wind ambience so here we go Then you hear some leaves being kind of rustled as soon as the clip moves from the flowers to the plant. And yeah, we recorded that separately too. And then you see the Chemex. I think it's called a Chemex for the coffee lovers out there. And you kind of get that boiling sound of water. And no, this was actually filmed in a Starbucks. So there's no way that we would get such crisp audio. So we made that too. Usually this kettle's quite quick. But not today. Hopefully that did the trick. Followed by the lady at Starbucks writing my name on a cup. And obviously we're not going to get that audio in a Starbucks. So we made that too. Cokey, paper, and hopefully we get the same sound. All right, let's do this. Now the next few clips of the video look like this. Now the breathing of the guy in the gym, we couldn't capture in the gym because gyms have music, they're noisy. You guessed it. So I did it in Zach's room. So I'm going to try and imitate some breathing. Here we go. Then there's a second kettle in here, and this is a whistling kettle, which makes an appearance at the end of the video again. So we needed to get that true whistling sound. We just put a little bit of water in so we don't wait like two years for it to boil. There we go. I'm not gonna lie, we literally recorded every single piece of audio separately. The planning on this was immense and intense. After that, the video went into a little scene like this. When the voiceover is there, we talk about the emails and the clients. And to get that email sound, we went onto YouTube. Let's check this out. Okay, so next one is when I say email in the video, that you get the sound of the email. So instead of planning to send myself an email and wait for it, I'm going to go onto YouTube and get the Apple email sound effect. And to hopefully get a good crisp audio, I'm going to stick the Lark 150 
into my headphones. Actually, I just got an email. <laughs> there we go. Then came the car sound. Now the car sound was one of the hardest things because the gear change was separately recorded. And obviously because we were physically in the car recording this, it was very difficult to record it behind the scenes because there's two of us. Michelle's holding the Lark 150 and I'm busy driving. So everything had to kind of be filmed there after to show you. So the gear lever change that with the like leather boot of the gearbox was pretty much just the car was off and we got that. Then what we did was we filmed the car's rev gauge which you saw but to get the true sound of the car as close as we could without getting too much wind noise and too much just too much distortion we actually did this so we took this to get some engine sound and revved the car up nicely and i'll show you where we put it we took it michelle held it on the passenger side underneath the dash so listen to this and then back to the drone chasing the car and you get that beautiful wind noise and obviously you've seen how that was done already mr right <laughs> then we moved on to a pretty cool part which took quite a bit of thought to put together check this out Basically what we did over here, Vinny, who's the guy that's riding, pro BMX rider, his hub, in other words, the shh that you hear from a bicycle, is extremely loud. Now in the BMX industry, that's pretty cool and people know that, but for you, the average viewer, you're looking for a normal bicycle sound. So we had to recreate that to slow down time when it goes in slow motion and tie it up with some of the original audio of the ramp. And we did it on our driveway, like this. You don't have the pedals, eh? Uh-uh. I got that, then I can play speed. Okay. Let's see. Okay, go. Play speed. <laughs> this is what the whole video has been like, trying to record audio. Okay, here we go. The computer time-lapse scene, well, simple keyboard and mouse click recorded separately combined in a time lapse. What we're going to do is try and get some clean, crisp audio from it here. So that's the mouse. Now for the keyboard. Then we moved to just some drone footage and, you know, the lock without sounds and it was just the voiceover with some of the music bringing you back to a stillness and then hyping it up with the drone shot again. Now this little piece was also a bit of a strange one, which you haven't seen yet. So, check this out. There's a lot going on here. Firstly, the boot close. We didn't record the audio of a boot closing. Instead of having the boot close, I'm going to use the car door because it's a lot more solid than a boot generally. And you probably won't get the number plate wrapped in. So, test number one. Quite a bit of wind that comes out of it, so I just don't want the wind to make that sound on the mic. And as that boot closes and the camera whips up, we added a bit of a whoosh effect. Now, whoosh effects are quite cool when you just download them, but when you have to make them, you gotta think out the box. So, here we have the Lark 150 without getting too much wind noise. We're going to try and create some whoosh effects. I'm hoping this works. So. Just in case I need a slightly more crisper whoosh effect. This is a toy of Zach's. I'm going to plug it into something. Followed by some drone. Those look pretty normal. But the rain, this was on a whole new level. Now we filmed Michelle in the rain with the hose pipe and our hose pipe burst at the time. So there was just immense amounts of noise. The nozzle making a noise, it was just too much. So we had to record it separately without the hose pipe. So what we did was probably questionable. So we're gonna try umbrella with a watering bucket. Ideally get this as close to the audio as possible without damaging this. A 
little bit wet. It's okay. <laughs> then we moved on to this part of the video. Now this is pretty simple. This was original audio with Zach laughing. So this was recorded with a normal mic, shotgun mic. And obviously tying all of this in to kind of give you the real experience, we needed to record this at different intervals and sift through so much footage and find moments that could tell a story, including sound effects that we could recreate. Was It was mind boggling to say the least. And the hours that we spend going through footage that we've kept to do something like this and tie it in with new clips that we filmed. I would say, you know, probably, you know, 40%, maybe more of this video was actually filmed to tie in with the other 40, 50% of this video. It's just crazy. So Michelle and Zach walk into the fake Eiffel Tower. We used the same audio that you heard in the beginning that was recorded with the birds. That actually, we just left this in single channel on the left ear to kind of just change it up a bit in your head, especially if you listen to this with headphones. And then Michelle at the water park, that was just natural audio. However, we didn't preserve the pitch. So we just slowed it down in time and that kind of gave you that feel. Followed by Christmas. Now Christmas and Jingle Bells and Santa, well, this is done with one of our dog's Christmas jerseys. Then you had the photo piece. I like this one. So what's actually happening here is the camera click. Obviously, we didn't just download this, yeah. We made this too. I'm gonna to switch it to photo mode, but it sounds pretty good and hopefully we can get that sound. Otherwise I'll use the DSLR, they very clunky sounds. So here we go. Sounds pretty good. Now with making the camera click, you also get the camera click and there's also that whoosh sound that we showed you earlier that ties in to kind of bring that photo down and you get that bassy kind of feel. And a lot of the whoosh sounds and everything that you hear has been used with equalizers to kind of add more bass and play around with the audio. And obviously you can see on the audio track here how much is actually going on. <laughs> After that, we moved into some normal city sounds as usual that we captured on the rooftop and just kind of let the audio run using a mask as a dead cat. I followed into the cracking of a Red Bull can, which obviously had to appear in the video. Then with the pillar passing, another wish effect, followed by a scary scene and you hear a guitar noise over here. <laughs> that guitar noise, which is kind of like a creepy kind of sound. Yeah. I did, yeah. I'm not gonna jam a cool song for you. This is actually what we're gonna do. Listen to this. You then hear an evil laugh. That was my evil laugh recorded with the Malak 150. And then all I did was added like a telephone equalizer filter over it. Just kind of reverbed it out so it just sounded weird. Then we move into the belly dancer. Very, very slight hint of the original audio to get some of the crowd and the clapping. Followed by Michelle's idea to make Zach a toy to play with and do this. We then go into more of the kind of droning sound with the wind up in the clouds, followed by the kettle, which you've already seen. And then the alarm clock, which was pretty simple. We just set the alarm on the phone and changed the time and recorded the audio. And then opening the eyes with another whoosh effect to kind of emphasize that. Then it goes into the record button of the camera to show you the last shot. Now that record sound is a little bit weird. This was the original record side. We added some telephone vibration and weird stuff to it and it just kind of sounded a bit weird. We hope you enjoyed this little BTS of a video that took us forever to put together and just kind of create this for the competition. I hope more of you join into this competition because I think it's so cool to learn about this and the BTS of it just teaches you so much. So thanks for watching wherever you are in the world. Have a good day, good evening, good night. Goodbye. <laughs>